So I was gonna originally film this with my husband doing makeup on him and you know we tried we attempted but then his face started burning and apparently it was burning a lot more than he told me it was burning because when we took it off he ended up having like a red rash all over him that spread down to his neck and I was scared we we're gonna have to go to the emergency room one of the biggest issues I had with doing Eric's drag makeup was his bushy ass eyebrows they weren't being glued down they weren't gonna set it, it just it was a recipe for disaster so obviously I'm not very good at glue down eyebrows. Anyway, I'm just gonna shave mine off. It's so funny. I haven't been really shaving my eyebrows off all the way for a while now. And every time I would see somebody that I hadn't seen in a while, they're like, oh, are you throwing your eyebrows back out? I'm like, no, I'm not. I just haven't shaved them. Which also really made me want to shave my eyebrows again. So, you know. Here we are. So I use the Anastasia Dip Brow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look, you see that mark that's still there? That's like a stain from the fucking Dip Brow shit that I use. It's really annoying. It only really happens on this brow. Let me go wipe this fucking shit stain off my fucking face. Drag makeup. Let's get started. So I guess that I should go about doing this how I would normally do my makeup which is starting with my eyebrows. I, I guess we'll just, uh, you know, start with that and just do our makeup how we normally would. Yeah, we're just, we're gonna do that. We're going to do that. We'll get to dipping with the Anastasia Dip Brow in granite. Don't take me for granite. I don't know either. I really don't even know. So I guess in drag makeup, the point is to go higher than you would normally do your eyebrows. So I normally start my eyebrows here. Maybe I should just basically start at the bottom of where I would normally do the top of my eyebrows. This is just me learning something with you. gave it to me. It's called Thank Me Later from Elizabeth Mott. I like it. It reminds me a lot of the Smashbox 24 hour thing. You know what I'm going to be talking about? Eyeshadow. Okay. How are we going to do this? Should we go in with a transition shade? I don't really know how this works. I guess let's just get started. So obviously drag makeup calls for the perfect palette. The artistry palette. We're doing drag so I guess white is an exception acceptable transition. Uh, I don't know. I hope it's working. It's worked. So I feel like I'm just gonna end up looking like a clown. I'm just gonna put white all over the eyelid because I just that's just what's happening. So I have work tomorrow so I do not want to put anything on my face that is going to possibly stain especially in such a dramatic manner as drag makeup is. Let's do like just a fun look and what is the theme? I don't know. Let's take a crack at it. So basically, I'm going for like a cat eye look. Duh. We're gonna go in. I was thinking purple, but I don't want it to stain my face. But we'll just do purple. It's fine, purple's fine. So it is a M321, like a crease bullet. And I have no clue what these eyeshadow shades are. But I'm going in with this one right here. <laughs> Not perfectly done, um, but I think we're off to a good start. So using the same brush that we just used on this magenta color, we're gonna load it up with darker purple right here. This one. to cut out our like crease line. Oh hey. So I also 
went ahead and kind of like dragged the concealer out like to make the eye actually seem bigger. Okay, now we're gonna go with an empty brush back into the white shade and just kind of do like that. Hands up. Oh bitch, that is the look. Okay, I'm going in with my finger with this glittery purple shade right here, just on my finger. I'm going to pack it. With our finger, we're gonna go into the second shimmery one from the top. And with our fingers, dip it, dip it, dip it. Nice and pigmented. And we're gonna go over here in the corner for a nice highlighted inner corner. I just decided something. I just now decided. We're going to go in with this like lavender shade right here. Lilac, lavender, I don't know. I'm not a color expert. Uh, M433. We're gonna go right over with our fingers. Go back into that purple shade because we just basically covered what we did. And just, you know, glitter that shit up with my M506 brush. The shimmery shade we put on the inner corner and just kind of blend it back out this way. Back with the M321, not really cleaned off, still has a little bit of purple. We're gonna go in the black, the only black shade, and just right here in the corner. Get your hands up. Smashbox primerizer. It's a primer with moisturizer and foundation. L'Oreal True Match Lumi, but it's too dark for my skin tone right now, so I don't want to talk about it. We're gonna use it because I don't care if I waste it, which is what I'm doing because it's like 10 o'clock on a Monday night and I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I just feel like I nailed this one and I didn't nail this one. We don't use often anymore is my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I bought the one shade that I use in it, which is fun, this one. But today we're using it and we're going to obviously be using the lightest color, which is soft light. Not even light, soft light. This is a drag look. Usually I use fawn, but I feel like I should use a mink, which is the darker one. All right, let's blend. Hands up. better this looks after we've cut and like cleaned everything up so you just gotta trust the process first we're gonna do my nose contour lately i've actually been using this laura geller baked balance and glow illuminating foundation in medium as a contour because it's actually just like the perfect shade to contour your nose yeah i just i'm not a fan of cream contour for your nose it just doesn't generally work right for me like i don't know why it gets very patchy maybe it's like one of those things where it's just me and like the shape of my nose but it's patchy af and with the foundation again the wibble and tap, a little some of that cheek in. Now using MAC blush in Dolly Mix. Let's get rid of this craziness. Now we gotta do this whole like, I don't know how these drag queens do what I'm about to attempt. I don't know, we're gonna see how this works out. All right, so while I was charging my camera, I mean, I didn't mean to snap on y'all like this, but a bitch did it. Are you fucking kidding me? This looks crazy. Like, are you kidding me? Who is she? I'm actually debating going in the bathroom and doing my eyeliner because I mean, it's just, it's eyeliner. Like any other day's eyeliner. It's big, it's bold, it's in your face, it's there. You can't miss it. Forgot, this is the NYX Liquid Matte Liner. It's cool, it's chill. I mean, like, that's basically 
That's it. That's the line I did. I'm, I'm gonna go though and I'm gonna make it better and fill it in because I have this thick eyeliner from Zuzu Lux and Raven. I don't know. It's thick. It's quicker. It's gonna fill it all in. This one's just way thicker than her sister over here. It's it's fine. It's it is fine. Here's where it gets real. This is the NYX Milk Crayon Jumbo, jum, jum, jumbo Eye Pencil. I still don't know how to sharpen it, so this is a new one. I had another one. I have two of these. I don't know how to sharpen them. If you know how to sharpen them, let me know, because none of my sharpeners can sharpen this. And I know that it's possible. We're gonna go in, and basically, we're gonna create a new tear duct. See what I did there? You see it? Yeah, so that's like our new tear duct. We're gonna go in the waterline and just right under the waterline. Doesn't need to be perfect, just, you know, needs to be there. You're gonna go in with the white eyeshadow and we're just gonna set that. Since we have dragged out our tear duct and basically made a new one, we now have to elongate our upper lash line this is a little, it's a concealer brush from e.l.f., but it's literally like super tiny. It's an eyeliner brush, basically. So what are we gonna use it for? Eyeliner. We're gonna get this dark purple shade. We're gonna load this little baby up. Just going to outline basically where your new bottom eyeliner would go, something like that. And now with our three, two, one brush, Blend it out just ever so slightly. Um, our handy dandy lavender little baby right here. Load that up just a bit. Smoke it out. And then back with our little elf brush into the giant black pigment. We're going to very carefully line just between the white and the purple. Dragging all the way up to our eyeliner. Again, smoke it out. That's the makeup part. The rest is just these funky little things. So I'm gonna go put upper eyelashes on, and then I'm gonna show you how I do the bottom ones. Then we're gonna do our lips, and then we're gonna, oh, we need highlight. Where did I think I was going? <laughs> I chopped up a eyelash strip. I specifically pay attention to the longer edges. The longer edges go on the outside, the shorter hairs go on the inside. And you do them upside down, so as opposed to being like curved up, you want them to be curved down. So literally just upside down. And you just go right on your lash line. Like, it's just not so even, but it's fine. You know what, we're not obsessing because I've done snap bitch. Huh. We're gonna do some highlight. We're going to use my tried and true Makeup Forever Starlet Powder Ivory 13. Let me just tell you a little something about this bitch. She's shinier than your anything shiny. Anything you have shiny, it's shinier. We go, we go. Lip liner. Now, the only way to go with a dry lip. Ombre. Duh. So, this is Morphe lip liner in forecast. I'm not Herberline. Now, going in with Kat Von D Sanctuary. And going in with Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Milkshake. I mean, guys, I did it. I mean, okay, so like this is definitely the better side. My eyelashes, I could have definitely clipped them more accurately and had the exact same on each side, but I didn't, and it is what it is. I didn't have any idea what I was coming in here doing. All I knew is I was doing a half cut crease. And damn, bitch, she's looking good.